Here is a 14B turbo that I converted into an Evo 316G. You can see that the part number reads as a 14B compressor housing. The bearing housing is from the 14B can also be machined for this compressor wheel. I also replaced the turbine housing with a genuine Evo 316G turbine housing, which the advantage of having that turbine housing is that it does have a nickel content in it, which helps prevent it from cracking, which they very rarely ever crack on the genuine Evo 316G turbine housings. They are a little bit hard to find though. I do have a replacement turbine housing that's a copy of the Evo 316G turbine housing, and the advantage to that housing is that you can replace your cracked housing, and it's already fully ported or cast as a ported housing, so you don't have to do any porting to it. And I'll link to that in the description, as well as all the parts that I use for this build. The original 14B compressor wheel is around 41 millimeter on the inducer, and the Evo 316G compressor wheel is 48.3 millimeter by 68 millimeter. It has a much larger inducer and exducer, so you're going about 7 millimeters larger than the 14B compressor wheel. However, they both use the same turbine wheel. The only difference is that the turbine shaft on the Evo 3 is left-hand thread. The Evo 316G is extremely popular because it's a very fast spooling turbo, and it's good for about 375 horsepower. The factory Evo 316G can safely be boosted up to 25 PSI. If you use the thicker thrust collar and spacer and upgraded thrust bearing with the dual oil ports, then you can safely boost above 30 PSI. If you're interested in a turbo build like this, you can always contact me at turbolabamerica at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.